Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. I just wanted to give an example of how we can power multiple solar generators from our solar blankets because there's no cookie cutter way to power all of them. So what I've got here is the EcoFlow Delta on the left. I've got the EcoFlow Pro on the right. We've got our 200 watt solar blanket plugged into the Delta, our 120 plugged into the Pro. So I'll give you a quick example here. Uh, first I'll show you this. This is pretty cool. The readings. So we've got just over 200 watts going in from our 200 watt solar blanket. We actually saw 204 a moment ago, but still 201 is pretty awesome. <laughs> going in from our 200 watt solar blanket, just laying flat on the ground. We've got our 120 that's just laying here. But um, let's go over this here real quick. So I'm just gonna cheat and read what it says here. So the, the, uh, the Delta as an example, so the maximum charging from solar is 65 volts, 10 amps max. So what that translates to based on what we offer so pull this back over. So what this translates to based on what we offer, uh, one of our 200 watt solar blankets can definitely power it because it's 10 amps max, or we can do two in series because we're not going to match the voltage on that, which is pretty good. Uh, the other thing that we can use is one of our 120 watt solar blankets, which is that guy laying on the ground here. Now the Pro, let's quickly switch that over here. So this is 25 volts, 12 amp max. So what that translates to is, our 200 watt will overpower it because it'll it's it's over it's too much voltage for it but the 215 watt that we offer and our 120 will easily power this device so the reason i'm going over all of this is i'm just letting you guys know like you've got jackery you've got blue eddy you've got the new energy flex coming out that one's um uh, not really going to be in the same ballpark as these guys but um there's so many different brands out there and what they want you to do is they usually want the reason they, they set it up so that you're kind of limited in your charging abilities is it comes down to is they want you to uh, to buy their product, to buy their solar panels or their rigid panels or their uh, flexible panels. That's the main reason they do that. They try to pigeonhole you into that so you have no, no option. So the reason, um, that's the main reason we've designed three different sizes here is it means that we can literally charge most of what's on the market. The goal zero is everything. Um, and... That's, that's the main reason for that, is, is to, to be able to provide solar blankets to uh, pretty much most of the people on the market on that. And I'll just kind of give you an idea of the different sizes that we have. We've got our 215 right here on the left, our 200 uh, in the middle, and our 120. Now, the difference between the 215 and the 200, um, well, first, they're the same physical footprint, they're the same physical size, uh, laid out, and, and what have you. But the big difference between the two is we've designed them, as you saw, the 200 is going to work with the EcoFlow, but it's uh, Delta, but it's not going to work with the Pro. Uh, and it's going to be the same with some of the Jackeries out there and the Goal Zero products as well, too, as an example, and the Blue Eddies. That's why we've done that. Um, now, the rule of thumb is if you're going to, be, if you have the option of using either of these, if you're in an area, let's say you're on the coast, a coastal area, and you're prone to more cloudy conditions, go with our 200 watt because it's actually going to work better in low light conditions. Whereas our 215, if you're in an area like, let's say, Arizona or Vegas or what have you, where you get great sun, uh, the 215 is going to excel for you. So go with that. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an example. Um, I'll show you this real quick as well, too. All three of our solar blankets have the same. So they all have right here, that's your Anderson SB connector. So you can't reverse polarity. It's all the same with that. Um, and then they all have our quick charge, which is this right here. Now, the bonus to the quick charge is you can power two high-speed USB devices at one time and a USB Type-C. And just to mention real quick, because I've had a couple of people ask about this, and I just put it in the instructions just so there's no confusion, that there is a digital display. You're just not seeing it right now. The only time the display shows something besides zero is when you have something physically plugged into one of these ports here. So if you're charging a USB or USB Type-C device. So that's going to be the only time that you're going to see that going in, just so you guys are aware. But yeah, no, that's it. Um, we do have the Energy Flex coming hopefully in less than a week. And the goal is to create some videos of that. I'm really excited about that because it looks like all three of our solar blankets can power that device. So it's, um, yeah, pretty excited about that coming out. 
I know the Apex was a great unit, the Kodiak was a great unit. Um, they're definitely kind of in a league of their own. So we'll be showing those as well too, but these are definitely great product as well. These are my personal ones that I'm using. But any questions, guys? My name's Rennie, I'm the owner of the company. Uh, I'd be happy to answer them for you. If you want something customized for you, give us a call. If, you, if it just seems the solar generator, solar blankets, solar panels, any of that, those terms just kind of make you cringe. Honestly, it's it's not that difficult. Give us a call. We'll walk you through it. It's pretty simple stuff. Okay. Have a great day, guys. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of the weekend. Sausages I just cooked. Okay. We'll talk to you soon. Bye then.